What is going on everyone, Zero Phantom here, back again with another video, and in today's video I'm just going to do something a little bit different. So I'm just going to give you guys a pretty brief, quick uh, farming guide, specifically for high level players, let's say from 135 to level 150, because lately I've been getting a lot of questions as to where the best farming spots for gold specifically are. But in this video, I'm going to be just showing you perhaps some um, XP spots as well. So the first spot that I'm going to be talking about is a pretty classic one, a pretty well-known one. Uh, it's Queen Hybe, who can be found at the anniversary event at Twilly. And just go to Secret, and then flick through that, and then get to this. And so basically, Queen Hybe is pretty easy for all builds, specifically a mage and warrior right here. So on my mage, for this, you just use a wizard robe and then a spell, specifically a darkness one, but fire and wind works as well. And she gives approximately uh, 500,000 uh, 500, gold per fight. She literally takes like um, one turn to kill. And if we switch over to a warrior here, um, it's roughly the same, you just use an armor skill that she's weak to. Um, element wise and yeah but it's pretty quick it's pretty easy but uh, the next fight after this I'm going to show you is a much more effective um, higher earning sort of farming spot compared to Queen Hybe because times have changed and she's definitely not the best anymore but she's quick fast for anyone uh, doesn't require any sort of pay to win doesn't require any sort of extra effort it's just yep it is what it is Alright guys, so the next fight that we have, the next farming spot, is um, the Mighty Shadow Gog, which can be accessed through owning a house, and this only requires you to own the smallest house, so you don't need a big estate, you don't need a big mansion, just the tent will be, the tent will, um, be adequate enough to access it through using an ID, which I'll put um, in the description below and in the clip after this. But basically this is the most effective fight for farming. It's one hit like Queen Hybe uh, gives you up to 1.1 or 1.2 million gold. Um, if you can survive the first hit, of course, uh, this is definitely the best farming spot in the game for the majority of players. Um, if you want to be able to, ne to negate and avoid the first um, hit, because there's a chance that the Mighty Shadow Gog will just keep attacking you and keep attacking you until you die. Which is quite rare, but it does happen, so you have to be prepared for that. And if you want to be prepared for that, uh, go grab the Assassin Armor, which gives you an initiative boost and gives you the upper hand in terms of going first. And basically ensures that you're going to win the fight. So again, this is fine for mages and warriors. You will need to heal in between fights occasionally. Uh, just so you know you don't die and have to go through the whole process of putting in the ID again But um, this is extremely easy Mages can just cast a spell and if we go over to the warrior here, it's Roughly the same except you just use a skill or you can use um, sub race uh, Beast form you can do the same for mages as well, but you know, I just prefer to use spells because it's you know, more damage etc but um, Warriors can use Werewolf for this fight, and it's extremely easy, it's the same process, and pretty much in one hit you're going to get yourself up to 1.2 million gold. So, yep, yeah, definitely investing in a house is one of the best things you'll do, specifically for farming, as well as, you know, the rise and Z tokens that a house offers you. But yeah, definitely recommend this one, guys. Alright guys, so the third and final battle here that we're going to be showing for the farming guide is pretty much the Void. Uh, whatever monsters in the Void, which has been the Underbeast for a little while now, generally gives quite high levels of gold and XP. So in this case, Underbeast gives up to 1.83 million gold, I'm pretty sure. And although this um, farming spot is a lot more high risk, than the previous ones I showed you. Uh, if you have the ideal equipment for it, it's pretty doable. Like, it 
takes it's probably the most um pay to win necessary farming spot uh it really helps if you have like booster pets and guests um armor skills like white knight here but you can pretty much get away with just using sub races as well it will just take a bit longer but yeah you can generally kill uh, monsters like under beast in about two or three hits um, it's especially easier for a mage because of how old, how um, skills on old armors work. But as you can see on a warrior here, um, <clears throat> we're going to go into the battle with Kindred. And um, this is Kindred armor is pretty much a warrior's best friend in terms of high level um, farming, high level you know questing, because um, it's going to be the most powerful option, the most fast option as you can see here. Pretty much obliterated all of Underbeast's um, health points. And overall, this spot, like I said, it's high risk. Uh, it requires a bit more strategy, a bit more effort, but it's pretty doable for those high level players who know what they're doing and the high level players who have the correct equipment, etc. So, yep, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this farming guide. Um, if you have any questions in regards to the information explained in this video, uh, please you know, feel free to leave um, a comment in the description below, and I'll answer as soon as I can. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I'm going to be coming out with some more content pretty soon. So stay tuned, guys. Have a good day.